so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i did this beautiful head wrap with my ashu key so first of all of course you want to pack your head down if you have um a weave on or a wig whatever you want to lay it down smoothly so that your your scarf your head wrap or your ashu key whichever one you are using is going to rest well on your head and the beautiful thing about this style of gile, you can see it. I'm using just a small, um, you can see the length and the width. It's just my arm's length and a little width. Meaning, with your small head wrap, you can achieve this beautiful, fascinating, amazing gile. So you can see I've divided my gile into two. Okay. You can, like I said, you can use a head wrap also. However, you want to use a head wrap that is a bit hard not too soft so now i'm taking a 30 percent portion so i divide it into half out of that half i just took a little bit close to half that's like 70 30 and you can see i've i've wrapped it at the back of my head you can see i'm pushing that middle inside so it doesn't pop out there i'm i'm pushing it inside and you can see i've turned it i've turned it once i've come cut and now i'm going to be putting it across a second time so i'm doing like a twist you want to make sure it sits at the center of your face using your nose bridge as a point of of course contact or a middle point now you can see the short side which is the 30 part you can see you would roll it all the way down to the back of your head and for this style of gile it's usually best if you are not using something way too long so you don't have a lot of excesses so even with your very small um scarf or um thick wrapper you can literally do this and of course make it and it will come out stunning so you can see I'm pinning the back. At this point, you want to ensure that your gile is well secured on your head because this is literally where the tightness of your gile will depend on. So ensure it is very tight before you secure that 30% at the back with pins. So secure it with pins enough so it doesn't um, pull out. So you want to pin it as neatly as you can now you can see the um 70 percent i'm spreading it i'm spreading it and now i'm going to pin just those two sides just those two sides to the two sides of um, um the the head wrap on my head just to cover that space there i'm just going to be pinning those two sides down you may want to use a mirror so you can do it perfectly i suggest you watch this video first then you watch while you try it this is um for you to get it and of course much practice makes improvements okay before perfection then of course you want to pin the second side down I try as much as possible to pin my gile from the back. This is because it helps to hide the, the pins more. So it doesn't look too obvious and doesn't really look tacky. So um, I think you should adopt that style too. And now you want to raise it up. While you are raising it up, you want to start forming pleats. Forming pleats. Keeping your hands at the center once you have formed the pleats to the down you want to secure all the pleats that you have formed together with your pin You can see I'm using enough pins, so um, it's not a must. You must use one or two. Secure it as much 
down as much as you can with your pins of course as time goes on you will get to use lesser pins because you will know how to manipulate your head wrap much more easily now you can see i am taking the two ends of the um the the part of the gele which i had made a pleat and i'm just going to be crossing them behind over each other you can see this one i've crossed it behind that other one and i have i am going to pin it together from behind and i'm doing the same with this one and i'm crossing it over and i'm 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 turning it all the way down so that one was behind you can do it both ways whichever one can come front or back but just ensure that they are crossing all the way like um a, a semicircle So you want to do that and of course once you have pinned it down all you need to do is begin to do a little bit of styling so you can see i'm adding my pins and then i'm just going to arrange it make it stand and this is why you need to use a gilet that is a bit thick or a head wrap that is a bit thick so that it gets to stand well so now i have arranged the gilet i've put on a little earring and you can see my face is already popping out you can want to you, you may want to throw in some makeup just for your face to stand out and look out but this is something you can literally tie in five minutes even if you are in haste so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did do well to leave a thumbs up do well do well to leave a thumbs up do well to subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell icon so when next i drop a new video you will be the first to see it and stay tuned for more of my videos if you have any questions or you like me to do any video do what to leave in the comment section and do comment where you are watching from where is your location i would like to know more about my viewers and where you are watching from stay tuned for more and bye.